we built, if you will, with three fundamental changes in mind as we were thinking about the differentiation. Some of these should have popped clearly during the course of Joe's demonstration. Some of them probably less so, and I'll have a chance to talk a little bit about those. First, we really wanted to lead and, in a sense, take much more complete accountability than we had in earlier versions of the Windows Phone for the end user experience. We worked hard to say, what's the minimum hardware definition that's required to allow us to do great experiences? How do we make sure that we really do have a set of smart design facilities in the way that Joe discussed, and that those get consistently implemented across a range of Windows Phone? How do we take the next step in terms of really integrating experiences for the end user into the phone? And you saw what we've done with hubs and some of the built-in experiences. So the user experience that Joe showed you is a baseline on top of which there'll still be a lot of innovation. And I'll talk about that in a minute from developers, from hardware manufacturers, and certainly from our operator partners. But that kind of complete, comprehensive, and consistent design experience for the end user was a fundamental principle of what we're trying to do with the Windows Phone 7 series. Second, at the end of the day, I think we all understand that in, in the business of information technology, software and creativity and the innovation of developers is absolutely fundamental. And with the 7 series of Windows Phones, we really raise the platform on which people can build the operating systems and the set of integrated services that people can extend. A new foundation with a rich set of development tools that we'll have a chance to describe at our Mix conference next month. Built in and, and consistent service availability, Bing, some of the live services that software developers can assume as a foundation and not have to re-engineer and repeat themselves. And Joe showed you some of the kinds of experiences that you can build around search, around the identity, around the integration with social networks and other things. So we'll talk a little bit more about what developers can do and the tool sets and, and opportunities for developers next month. But certainly we wanted to take a very big step forward on that. And third, but perhaps as significantly, although it doesn't come out, so to speak, in the demonstration itself, is we really wanted to take a step forward in terms of our approach in working with partners, the hardware vendors who build Windows phones and the operators who do so much to add value and bring these things to market and deliver the key service. With our hardware vendors, we want to raise the bar. We want to have a little bit more consistency in the hardware platform and a little bit more consistency in the user experience. But we still need to enable their innovation. We want you to see lots of different form factors of Windows Phone 7 series. 